Hello, my name is Tisha Diffie, and I am founder of After the Fact Final Affairs. Welcome to our two-minute video presentation. Today, I'm going to give you some ideas on health-related items such as medication. The quickest, cleanest, easiest way to do it is take all of the medication and crush it up, put it into a silver or still bowl and mix it with water, and let it sit for about an hour. Then what you want to do is add a little sand or a little kitty litter to soak up everything and leave that for about an hour. And then take it all out and dump it into a trash bag, double bag it, and then throw it away. This is the safest, cleanest way to take care of it. Also in relation to medication, you're going to want to call the pharmacy and find out if they're on a regular rotation of where the refills are automatic and then paid for and then only picked up. So give the ph pharmacy a call. Let them know the person is deceased. Give them a couple of the prescriptions. And if any of them are on auto refill, ask them if they will cancel them and also ask them to restock them. Once the medication has been picked up, the pharmacy can't take it back. There are on occasion a return your drug here day, which are sponsored AARP, possibly the sheriff's office, a number of places that say if you have old medication, you can bring it back. If you have young children in the house, you want to get that out as soon as possible and not necessarily wait for those days to come around. This is a very important thing to do. And the last tip we have is when you are throwing away the bottles, take a moment to take the um, labels off of them and shred those or cut them up into small pieces. Again, these are just small ways that ID theft can happen. And that's one of the things we're trying to protect for the deceased itself and for you to have to clean up later. Thank you for watching our two-minute video series, and please stay tuned for more information later. Thank you.